Hello YouTube and pen people, I'm Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron and today I'm here with a review of a couple of products by the Pilot Company. Uh, Pilot is known for their pens and they have a Pilot Friction 4 ball, I guess is what it's called, ball 4 according to the clip. Um, so this is a four color pen, a uh, roller ball in a very fine line, I think it's like point, oh. 05, so half millimeter line. Um, very, very fine and uh, very fun to use. Has a very interesting feature on the back. This is the eraser, but as you can see, it's solid. And uh, I will explain how this works later on. Also has a very nice clip. Um, to pair with this, um, I wanted free shipping on my order from Jet Pens, so I threw these onto my order and uh, they are pretty cool. These are also by Pilot. Uh, these are friction highlighters. And um, the whole deal with this friction series is that uh, heat, so heat makes this go invisible. It like makes it transparent. And uh, the only way to uh, show this to you is to do a little writing sample on here. This is my Rhodia dot pad. Um, this is an A5 size, very nice 80 grams per square meter paper. Anyway, um, I'm gonna take this nice smooth paper, do a little demo up here and then I'm going to show you how friction can be used to erase this pen and these highlighters. And um, this is definitely the best erasable uh, ink I've ever seen. So we're gonna do a little time lapse and then I will show you a demo. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, I am calling both of these colors yellow. Um, maybe technically this one's supposed to be orange, but these highlighters definitely both look yellow. This one has more of a orangey tone to it, but I would still call it yellow, and this one is more of a classic highlighter colored yellow. By the way, that's how I spelled highlighter, like the old stationery brand. Um, I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be spelled. I don't really see a different spelling on the package here. So yeah, I can't read Japanese, so womp womp. Anyway, um, this is a good set of colors for the highlighters. I do like that they're muted, and I think the uh, rollerball pens are pretty clear. So these dots are five millimeters apart, just to give you an idea of the line size. The purple is very muted, um, very interesting. Anyway, so let's get to the part where these are friction activated. This is my trusty Westcott ruler. I use this for all kinds of things. But we're going to cut a swath through our ink here using only this little nubbin. So take the nubbin, just rub the paper, and you will see the ink disappear. Ooh, ah. That's it. I rubbed more than I needed to. Uh, I'm going to take a little more off just to have a better demonstration here. There you go. You do have to be a little particular about how you're rubbing just to make sure you get it all. Um, let me show you that these highlighters have the same thing on the back end, a little more rounded. As you can see, this is a little more like a column, and this is a little more uh, hemispherical, I guess. Let's cut a swath. Oh, there you go. You can see the highlighters go fast. Cool. All right. There we are. So, with a little bit of friction, we have essentially removed the visibility of the ink. It is extremely hard to tell that it was there before, in my opinion. Whoops. <laughs> looking through my phone camera is actually doing better than looking around my phone from like a foot away. There we go. See how the ink fades? And that is purely caused by the heat of the back end of this pen rubbing on the paper. And that's all it takes. Um, so hypothetically, hypothetically, I have not tried it, although I do really want to try it, 
and uh, if you want me to try this please let me know in the comments but I think these like one of their best use cases would be college students because I would always get well screwed trying to sell back my textbooks because I liked to use highlighter and as soon as you touch a textbook with highlighter it's considered you know not like new quality it is then used quality and you tend to get less money back when you sell the books back to the library so college students especially you in the United States take note of these erasable highlighters and pens because if you mark up a textbook with these hypothetically you could heat up that book okay heat it up don't burn it heat the book say with a hair dryer uh, maybe a very low temperature oven if you have access to such a device maybe a microwave I don't know I'd have to try it but you could make all of your notes disappear at the end of the semester and then sell your books back in like new condition hypothetically I do need to experiment um, but I'll only do it if people are really interested because I've never microwaved a book and uh, I don't know what will happen so I'd rather be careful if y'all don't want to see that but if you do please drop me a comment let me know so yeah that was just a quick overview of the um, action of the pilot friction series of pens and markers I really like them super cool I like having four colors at my disposal in a single pen um, this is really the best iteration of this multicolor pen that I've seen um, I grew up in the 90s so these were uh, still a thing for sure um, the only problem is this rubbery grip section does pick up cat fur and fuzz and you know all this the pre spring cleaning stuff in my house <laughs> seems to accumulate on this pen um, yeah the uh, highlighters are good they're pretty skinny width um, which might not be the best for some people but I like this particular size because I'm very precise with my highlighting and uh, yeah that's really all I have to say about it I enjoy that um, this erasing method doesn't produce crumbs there's no crumbs so um, this could also be an artist's tool uh, especially because it's very clippable onto anything so throw it in your pack throw it in with your paint brushes I don't know you could sketch out with it and then hit it with a hairdryer and erase all of your sketching lines something like that so if you were unaware of these pens hopefully I brought you something interesting today that's really all I have to say about them. I'm going to enjoy using them just as they are. I uh, really like the erasability of them. And let me know if you want to see me experiment with them more, because I'm more than happy to do that. Okay, I've been Joe, and you've been watching Ink and Iron. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to see more content like this, I do have some plans for more stationary stuff in the future. I also do knives and uh, multi-tools and all kinds of stuff. Fountain pens. Do I have a fountain pen on here? I do have a Caveco Sport. So yeah, I have all kinds of stuff on this channel. Um, also typewriters. So if you're into that kind of varied smorgasbord of stuff, um, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and again, drop me a comment if you want to see that experiment. Okay, catch you on the next one. Bye.